guys, I'm here doing my April favorites. I know it's a little bit late, so let's jump right into it and get going with what I've been loving this month. So my favorite new purchase of the month was this Blue Jays hoodie. It's from Victoria's Secret Pink, and it just says on the back, I'm a great catch, and I love pink at the bottom. It's so cute. This is a really oversized hoodie, so this is actually extra small and... I can wear it with leggings. It's that long and that baggy. So I really wanted to find this size and everywhere was sold out. They only had medium or large, extra large. And uh, I went to the pink opening at the Eaton Center. They had extra small because they had just got them in. I absolutely love it. I worked the game on Wednesday and had a great time. And definitely the Jays are another one of my favorites of the month because I've been following them since they started their season and I've already went to two baseball games. Uh, my boyfriend's a huge fan as well so we get to do it together which is really nice. So that's one of my other favorites of the month. But if you are into baseball, um, Pink has such amazing stuff uh, for every single team in the league. So um, you can buy it all online or if you like your, your home team, you can get those things in stores. So I've been loving um, this style of pants. So these are from Club Monaco. And they're just sort of a canvas twill jean-like pant, but they have a lot of zipper details and sort of like cargo-esque pockets and zippers at the ankle. I just really like the look of these types of pants because it's something fresh and different from jeans, but um, they, they're just as comfortable, and I think that they actually are a bit more flattering. I don't know if it's because the material's a little bit thinner or just the look of it, the darker color. I don't know what it is, and they're very easy to dress up as well. Um, these are probably my favorite ones from Club Monaco. I got them in the fall time, so they probably don't have them anymore, but hopefully they'll bring them out for next season. Um, but also the J brand cargos, I love. Definitely, if you've never tried pants like this, I would really recommend giving them a go. A lot of different places make them. They're also usually a bit lighter weight, so better for um, in going into the summertime. So. Another favorite clothing item of the month is this sweater, which I got from Mango. And I've shown this in a haul um, before, but it's just a red and black striped sweater. It's really, really soft and kind of like a mohair fuzzy vibe to it. And it's a tunic style, so you can wear it with skinny pants, but also with leggings. And I just think it's very Kurt Cobain. There's something about it that's um, a little bit grunge. I love wearing it with my Doc Martens. I love wearing it with my wedge sneakers and giving it a bit of an edge. Um, a lot of people, when I wear it, say I look like Freddy Krueger in it as well. It's a great sweater, and it's one of my favorite things to wear. I'm so glad that I purchased this at Mango. It was one of those like impulse buys and it's become one of my favorite items in my wardrobes. My bag of the month has been my Mulberry Leah. And I purchased this bag last time I was in New York City, so two falls ago. The way that it's weighted on your shoulder is so comfortable. You can wear it all day, it doesn't feel like it's um, pulling at you. And um, it just feels so great on. The only issue I have with this, um, and I've never had it with any other Mulberry bag, is that the bottom has gotten really worn very quickly, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's sort of fading, and the color is coming off, and the leather is like faded. You can sort of see it really bad at that corner. And that started happening pretty much immediately after I bought it, like within two weeks of carrying it. And I feel like it's the soft leather that is just not durable. So one thing to note, if you are buying an expensive bag, investing in it and you want it to last a long time, don't get something in this really soft, um, I think this is either goat, goat skin or calf skin, because it will discolor, it will fade, it will um, get like this. My sister has a Marc Jacobs bag that the same thing happened to it. So um, definitely go for something with a little bit of a sturdier leather if you want to invest in something to last a long time. Because I love this bag so much and I probably would have still bought it no matter what, but it is really disappointing to spend that kind of money and have it start to like look old so quickly and just look like I've had it for, you know, nine years and I've used it every single day when in fact I've had it for not even two years and I only have used it for a few months. So. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing, um, 
but I still love the style and the shape of the bag, and I still love Mulberry. All my other Mulberry bags that I own um, are different leathers, and uh, none of them have done that, so I think it's just this actual leather that's really delicate. Fits a lot of stuff, and it's very easy to carry. Um, and I love the penny charm on it. It's like a lucky penny. It's so cute. Okay. Um, also, if you like this bag, it's no longer made by Mulberry, but they do make a similar purse. I think it's in the Tilly line. Last few clothing items. My Ash Virgin sneakers. So these are my favorite, favorite, favorite sneakers of all time. They are amazing. They're leather with all these little buckles. And they're by the brand Ash, which also makes my wedge sneakers, if you've seen those in my videos. I'm very famous right now for those wedge sneakers. But this is definitely, I think, their most well-known item. A lot of celebrities own these. And I actually have another pair in suede, but they have a zipper. The newer ones have a zipper down the side, so you don't have to unbuckle them to get them on and off. I usually wear them, though, like half-buckled like this. And they make a lot of noise when you walk. But I really like this look. I've had mine for about at least four years, so they are quite worn in. Um, and you can see more on like the backs, how I've worn them, that they're quite worn in. But the thing that's going to go is the sole. The actual leather part's in really good condition still. When you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt and like a leather jacket and you throw these on, because they're leather, because they have the buckles, you're going to look a little bit more put together. They're great for traveling. I think they normally cost around $1. 60 I want to say I think they're in that range if you buy them new I got mine on eBay they were brand new when I bought them um, but I paid around $90 for them I also my suede pair I bought on Karma Loop during their sale a few months back and looking for um, them at a cheaper price I would definitely recommend looking for them on sale or on eBay because they make this style every season. I think they're worth the full price, but it's always nice to get a deal. And my last pair of shoes I've been wearing are my Isabelle Morant black dicker boots. I bought these last August for my birthday for myself, and um, I've been wearing them a little bit this spring. I still have to get them resold, so I'm, I'm being very careful with them. But I love these boots so much. They're so beautiful and so comfortable, and definitely my all-time favorite shoe. Um, I love Isabelle Morant shoes, they're amazing, but these ones in particular are the best. So, that brings me to my wish list item of the month. It is another pair of boots. Um, if you follow my blog, truenorstyle.blogspot.com, you will have seen them in my latest post. They are the opening ceremony Coachella boots. And I'll show you a photo of them on my website. They just look like that. Those are the black ones. And then if I scroll down, you can see they also come in tan and um, like a brown color and this royal blue color, which is amazing. And yes, they are very similar to the Isabelle Morant boot, except the heel is a little bit higher and it's curved. And they are a bit pointier and they have a western detail stitching on them, um, which I just love that cowboy boot look. So they're just the most amazing boots. They are $500 $50, although they are on sale on ASOS right now for around $400, but a little bit too expensive for me to splurge on at this point with my big road trip coming up. And also, they're very much like my Isabel Moreau boots, so I shouldn't really get another pair of the exact same kind of boot. Maybe in the blue color is the only um, option I would maybe go for. But I'm going to see if they have them um, in Los Angeles when I'm on my trip. I might try them on and see how much I like them. And maybe they'll be on sale and I might purchase them. But they're definitely my wish list item of the month. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave the link below to my blog so you can see them closer up. I'm also really loving um, the Nike neon running sneakers. I just did a post on those as well. And I love these pink ones. And I really think I might purchase them. I have the Nike Freeze already in black. But they're a few years old. So, um might be time for a, a fresh pair just because they, they tend to get a little bit worn um, and, and they don't really support you as well after you've had them for a few years. Really loving the pink, but they have these amazing neon colors in their running collection right now and the freeze are just so comfortable. So if you're looking for new running shoes, highly recommend those. I don't really have any new makeup that I've been loving, but um, I really love using my Smashbox um, cream eyeliner. It's just in the color Midnight Brown with a uh, liner brush like this. This is just a MAC liner brush. Um, and using this to fill in my eyebrows, I, it gives a really, really natural look. It's almost foolproof. Really quick, and I love the way it looks. And it stays because this is a cream liner, and it kind of, um, 
it helps to sort of keep your eyelash, um, sorry, not your eyelashes, your eyebrow hairs in place. And if you have already pretty, you know, dark brows, pretty filled in brows, and you just want a little oomph, I highly recommend this combo. And last couple things are my non-beauty and fashion related items. Firstly, I've been loving my Sean White road trip snowboarding video game for Wii. I use it with the Wii Fit. It is the most fun video game ever. It's the reason why I bought the whole system was just to play this game on it because it is so fun. And I play it for a couple hours. So by the time I'm done, I'm like sweating. Like I need to take a shower. It's that uh, much of a workout. It's really good at working your lower body. Um, at least if you go as hard as I go when I play it. Uh, and uh, it's great cardio. And um, I just finished the Japan section of it and I'm it's the farthest I've ever been in the game, so I'm really excited to move forward. Um, I bought this years ago, but I honestly I haven't played my Wii in about a year, and I just decided to to start playing this game again, um, and it's been so fun. So love that. My TV favorites of the month um, are three shows that just started this month: and the Girls, Game of Thrones, and The Killing. Girls is on HBO. It's a new show. It's about four young girls living in New York City. It's quite edgy. Um, it is, there's a lot of like nudity and stuff in it, so it's not for everybody. Uh, and I de definitely didn't really like it, episode one. Um, I've seen three episodes now, and definitely the third one was my favorite. So if you're not liking it, stick with it. You might grow to like it more. Um, but it's definitely not for younger viewers. <laughs> uh, secondly, Game of Thrones. Um, amazing, as usual. The production of that show is just incredible. And Joe Dempsey in it is amazing. Gendry is my favorite character in the books and in the TV show. And I kind of love him so much because he's played by Joe Dempsey, because I love Chris from Skins so, so much. In Skins, Chris, I mean, I love the character, and he's such a great personality, and I just loved him on the show, but I never thought he was attractive. Like, he's cute, but not, like, in a sexy way. On Game of Thrones, oh my gosh, like, take your shirt off more. <laughs> he's just incredible looking. I, I wasn't expecting that, so definitely my favorite character. Um, and then lastly, The Killing. Oh my gosh, uh, amazing. It's so good in season two. If you guys gave up on it after season one, definitely give it another shot. It's taking the show in this really like cool direction, finally figuring out more about Rosie's past, and um, it's really like awesome every week. I'm so excited to watch it. And Joel Kinnaman is incredible, as usual. He can say so much with just a look into the camera, and you just feel so much for him. There's one episode where he just has this like meltdown and you see like his dark side and he's just like a really not a nice person and you're completely put off on him and then he turns it around and shows his vulnerability and uh, it probably makes no sense me just blabbering about this unless you've seen it but oh my gosh he's an incredible actor I love love his character and his acting on the show but my website favorite is actually an Instagram favorite and it's Jason Lee Perry who is a photographer he does some of my favorite photos of all time this is one of his pictures the one that says be nice or leave on my tumblr here um that's a picture actually of his wife she is gorgeous and i was so inspired by his photographs i love what he does he does a lot of like street culture and motorcycles and kind of hipstery rock and roll vibe to his pictures and i love um seeing his behind the scenes of his photo shoots and stuff if you read foam magazine he does a lot of work for them he did an amazing photo shoot with ashley smith that was on the cover of foam magazine i think not this last issue, but the issue before. So if you um, like those pictures, definitely check him out. And then my music favorites. So I have a couple new artists that I've been into. One is named Ed Sheeran. Um, he did a, uh, an EP with Yellow Wolf, who's one of my favorite rappers ever. And he has a song called You Don't Know with him that I love so much. And also he has a single out called Give Me Love, which um, is off his own EP that is amazing. So I think he's a British, he's a British singer. Um, really nice mellow voice, but um, with Yellow Wolf, I think the dynamic is amazing. I also really like this song called Too Close by Alex Clare. It's from like a Blackberry commercial. It's a dubstep song. Absolutely love it. I've um, been listening to that quite a bit. And um, an older song I've been listening to is um, called All Over You, and it's by Live. And it's one of my favorite like 90s songs. I listen to Lithium on Sirius whenever I play my Wii. A snowboarding video game and it always comes on and I've just become obsessed with it again so um, definitely that song by Alive and lastly um, watching The Voice I've become a huge fan of Juliet Sims who is on CeeLo's team and she's his finalist she's my favorite singer on it um, CeeLo had the best team Jamar was my other favorite 
but he got kicked off this week. Um, but she has a couple songs on iTunes from the show. One is called Roxanne and one is called Oh Darling. She does an amazing job of covering them. So definitely check her out. Um, if you like sort of classic rock sounds, she has this really classic rock voice that's incredible. And I have been listening to those nonstop. Um, she also has, does a rendition of Crying by Aerosmith that's really good. But Roxanne and Oh Darling are my two favorites. Um, and I just love them. Uh, also, the originals of those songs are amazing by the Beatles and by the Police. But um, her versions are very good. And that's about it. The last thing I want to mention was the Beastie Boys. If you see my shirt that I'm wearing today, hopefully you guys can see it. Um, right here is Adam Yoke, and he passed away um, from cancer, and he, you have no idea how much I love the Beastie Boys. They are one of my all-time favorite bands, and I saw them on their Five Boroughs tour a few years ago, and I've been loving them, like, so, so much, like, since high school. Like, I'm getting really sad about this. Um, I'm so sad that he died, and uh, I just I can't even express, like, how much it's affected me the last couple of days. Like, I've just been, well, I mean, it only happened yesterday, but he was only in his 40s, and he's just such an amazing rapper and, you know, like, a music visionary and did so much for the Free, free Tibet movement, and I just, I mean, just really, really sad. Um, that he passed away. So uh, I've been listening to a lot of Beasties and I wore my shirt today from Chaser that I just love. And um, if you like this shirt, Chaser makes it. They also have a version um, at Forever 21 if you don't want to spend the money. <laughs> it's not as nice as this one, but um, if you want something to give tribute to um, a great, a great musical artist and a great person, rest in peace Adam and rest in peace MCA. Um, I'm just really happy that I got to see him live and that I got to like have his music in my life because I absolutely love the band. Um, Sabotage is my favorite song by the Beastie Boys, but I mean, ugh, all their songs are amazing. So uh, definitely, if you've never listened to them, check out all their past records. Um, get on your iTunes and check it out. Um, get on YouTube and watch their videos. They have such amazing, amazing music videos. And uh, give them some love. All right. Bye, guys. See you soon.